This is a mysterious village, where the presence of anything red is strictly forbidden. Even a small flower must immediately vanish. Legend has it that in the forest next to the village, there is a monster, and red is the creature's taboo color. As long as there is no red in the village, the residents are safe. However, this agreement is shattered by a fool. One day, he brings a red fruit to a blind girl. Nervously, she asks where the fruit comes from. A fool leads them to a path. Jack realizes the fool entered the forest unharmed. So the next day, Jack ventures into the forest. He discovers a cluster of red fruits and hears a strange sound. Looking up, there's nothing unusual. But that night, the night watchman spots the red-robed monster. Villagers hear the alarm, hastily hiding in cellars. Blind girl unaware of Jack's return, waits at the door. The monster approaches, dangerously close. Just in time, Jack pulls her inside. This blind girl knew there were monsters in the forest. She had to go through the forest to buy medicine because her lover had just been stabbed by a fool. Lying at home covered in blood, the villagers were afraid of the monsters in the forest. No one would help her to buy medicine. She had to follow her instincts. Nervous, she trudged through the forest. Suddenly, she fell into a deep pit. Luckily, she grabbed the edge and climbed up. She continued to use her instincts to find her way. She felt a broken branch. And that's when the blind girl heard a strange sound. She got scared. She began to run. She came to the field of red fruits. The blind girl sensed something was wrong. The monsters were getting closer and closer. They were coming towards her. The blind girl ran in the direction of the village. Then she felt a broken branch. Then she had a bold idea. She stood there and didn't move. When the monster came at her, she dodged out of the way. The monster was pierced through the body. In fact, it wasn't a monster. It's Jack wearing the monster's clothes. The girl met a kind policeman outside the wall. Help her to buy medicine. The village chief decided to blame the monster for the death of the fool. The secrets of this village continue.